welcome to the sphere of grace. This is Pastor Shego Obaje. Today I'm bringing you God's word along the lines of victory. What Jesus Christ has done for us. He has given us victory over life, life's situations and circumstances, life's opportunities as well. We have victory over the opportunities of life, meaning we are on top of those opportunities. They don't take advantage of us. Situations and circumstances don't take advantage of us. We have victory over the devil and all his cohorts because Jesus Christ gives us victory. Not only has he given us victory, he gives us victory on a daily basis. The victory that we have in Christ Jesus is the victory of grace, is the victory of Jesus himself. The Bible tells us that Jesus conquered principalities and powers on our behalf, and he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. He triumphed over situation and circumstances. He triumphed over the devil and his courts, and he gave the victory to us in his name. Beloved, you are victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. And on a daily basis, he gives you victory. He gives you victory at your place of work. He gives you victory with situation and circumstances that you handle daily. The Bible says to us in 2 Corinthians Chapter 2 and verse 14. It says, Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ. He always causes us to triumph in Christ. That means it's an everyday experience. How do you get to know who you are in Christ? The Word tells you who you are. You see, the Word of God is the revelation of God's mind, of God's will. You see, whatever... God wants to tell people. He tells them by his word. The word of God alone can truly reveal God to us. And without knowing him, we cannot know who we are. So when you get into the word of God, you get to understand who you are in God. Because that's where your true self is. The best of you can only be known by revelation. You can't know yourself by sense knowledge, by carnal knowledge, scientific knowledge. The world cannot tell you who you are in Christ because they don't know you. They don't know you. They can only see the physical you, the you that they think it's not perfect. But deep on the inside of you, there's a new man if you're born again. And that new man is the new self. And that is the self that you are, the true self that you are. God made you a unique person with unique characteristics, unique uh, tendencies, unique abilities. And that's who you are. I want you to celebrate your uniqueness again and reassure yourself. You don't have to uh, copy someone else. Reassure yourself in your uniqueness. You see, you have a destiny that is unique to you. So you don't have to copy someone else, try to act like someone else. You don't have to do that. Just be who you are in Christ. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, and you are unique. God has placed a high premium on you. You are valuable. You are significant to God and to his plan on the face of the earth. God has a great plan for you. He says, I know the thoughts I have towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a hope and a future, to give you an expected end. God has an expected end for you. Today I pray for you that that unique side of you by revelation of the Holy Spirit is made known unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You begin to see yourself in the light of your uniqueness, in the light of God's plan and purpose for your life. You begin to appreciate your peculiarity, celebrate your uniqueness, and know that you are different from every other person, and you know that God has a unique plan for you, a great plan for your life and for your destiny. Beloved, celebrate your uniqueness today. Be happy with who you are in Christ Jesus. And know that God has a great plan for you, unique to you, custom made for you in Jesus' name. Until I see you tomorrow, I want you to keep living in the sphere of grace. I love you. God bless you. Amen.